Oh, um... Shoot, I think Kai Wizzy's on the right? That's a real good question, actually. Shoot. I think Kai Wizzy's playing the Krom, so I believe they're on the right. Yeah, I think. I think. Um, I cannot remember, to be honest with you. But anyways, into uh, round one here. I hope I have the uh, the players on the right side. Oh, that is already a dead little Mac. That early. That recovery, uh, you know, not the best. I don't know if it was quite that bad, but... Gotta be starting a, uh, a stock down here already. And uh, Kai is going in here trying to get some work done. I mean, just racking up percentage piece by piece. Divine's almost got the KO punch good to go. So that might be the, the equalizing factor here. That combo going to help a lot too in the recovery. Oh, no KO punch needed. Just the up, the up smash there to punish the landing. Seeing more and more Little Max lately, it seems like. Uh, I feel like a couple prominent uh, Little Mac players lately have really increased the popularity of that character. And being on uh, <laughs> being on Final Destination Game 1, that's where you want to be if you're Little Mac. But right now, it's not really working out for them. Give it a lot of respect here. I mean, even being a, a stock up and having a pretty good lead, you just don't want to give this character a way back into the game. And uh, a way back into the game is not going to happen here. Game one going over to, I believe that's Kai Wizzy. I'm actually going to step away from the microphone real quick just to double check. So pardon me for just a second. Okay, I'm back. My apologies. That is not Divine Logic and Kaiwazi. That is uh, Devi Star and Combo Freak, I'm being told. So we're getting that fixed up right now. Apologies for that. I think you have a W there instead of two Or Is that two Vs or is it a W? On, De on Devi Star. It was, um... Whoever's not playing the little Mac, so not combo freak. It was Devi Star. Devi Star got game one. Stop yep. You have you still have a W there. It's two Vs instead of a W. Sorry, folks. We're getting this figured out here. <laughs> it's been a uh, rocky start to the day, but we're gonna get this ironed out and be good to go after that. All right. And if you could swap the sides and the names for me, that'd be great. All right, there we go. All right, game two, going to Battlefield here. I guess once you know you're against Little Mac, you're banning that Final Destination, even if that's the stage you won on. Do not want to give them that flat terrain to work with. It's going to be uh, a little different here, but, you know, we, we saw Combo Freak have a rough time last match, but part of that was because of uh, losing a stock at, like, 0%, which is... You know, never ideal. Uh, maybe this will go a little bit differently. I mean, right now, Combo Freak establishing a pretty solid lead here, not really giving Devi Star a chance back. These combos coming out to shut down those aggressive options as well. Baiting out the shield, too. Just trying to keep that pressure varied. Mix up those options and keep Devi Star on the back foot. There goes the KO punch, though. That may have been a little optimistic. That is going to cost Combo Freak the stock and the lead. Coming right back down, though, with that forward tilt, the one-two punch to even those stocks right back up. Round two. <laughs> two stocks apiece now. Look at that counter. Every time Combo Freak is trying to come back from that disadvantage situation so far, we've seen that come out, and it not only gets that damage out, but puts uh, Devi Star into a pretty bad spot as well. I mean, you really do not want to be giving up terrain against this character. Little Mac with that ground speed can just move in and out like we're seeing right now, that dash dance, to just keep you guessing and not let go, not let on what option they're looking for and then punish you for whatever habits you show at the time. Debbie Star coming back and immediately throwing Combo Freak way off stage there. The KO Punch already going to be knocked right out. But Combo Freak playing extremely patient to try to get back into the uh, stage here, back onto the stage there. But is it patient enough? It looks like it. Now they've got the ledge once again. This is where Combo Freak's been getting a lot of work done this game so far. The combo isn't going to connect, but it is going to buy them a way back to the stage there. That could have been a stock lost, but getting that extra distance on that counter makes all the difference. 
Waiting out the shield option too, the patience here. Really trying to hold on to that stock, not trying to overextend with anything. That forward smash though, was that overextension finally coming out? That patience could only last for so long, and it did cost Combo Freak that stock. We're in a last stock of situation here now. And Debbie Star just uh, starting to find their footing here, getting grab after grab. These tech chases looking really clean too. Had the shield up in time as well. Playing much better than we saw earlier this game against these little Mac options here. The grab is going to get uh, traded there, though. Oh, being off stage. Oh, but the spike attempt was extremely... It was That may have been a little bit on the greedy side. Combo Freak able to get back. Has the KO punch, too. Can they find a hit with it, though? Nope, that grab is going to knock it out. Can you recover from that? I think so, just barely. Yes. Combo Freak back onto the stage here. Needs to find this big hit, though. Needs to get back on the stage and find something big, or they're going to be... Oh, right down to loser's bracket. Debbie Star... Even getting trumped off the ledge there, knocked off the ledge there, able to recover and find the stage spike and take game two for the 2-0 win here in winner's round one. And I gotta say, it's it's been wild seeing as many Little Macs as we've seen lately. I feel like we still haven't seen a ton, but 